Bruins of Notre Dame and the Longhorns of Texas. indication this could be a record crowd at Darrell K. Royal Texas Memorial Stadium for number six and number nine Notre Dame. It's the first time the Irish have been to Austin Texas since 1952. They're playing on real grass this year here at the home of the Longhorns and the kick from Sansom carries way back and deep and here's the starting quarterback for the Longhorns. They need a good day from James Brown. He's got good numbers as a starter. For the Longhorns offense, it is Ricky Williams in at the running back, and they call him Little Earl because he has been very impressive, but the first play is a pass. It's a hummer all the way to the 35 and to the 42-yard line. To Obviously, that's a first down. Out to the 42-yard line, a picked up of 22 yards, and Brown's back to throw again. Has time, goes again down the pipe, but it's incomplete. The Chile starting lineup now, the Texas backs and receivers. Ricky Williams has had some big games already in the two they have played. But as I said when we came on the air, this is the first test for both these teams. Priest Holmes is in the backfield now, along with Ricky Williams for the Texas Longhorns on second down. It is uh, a, a contact behind the line of scrimmage. Face mask on the defense. Five-yard penalty. First in it for three new starters in that offensive line for Texas, Keith. Second down and five after the penalty. Here's a bit of a crack, but it closes rather quickly. Octavius Bishop at tackle. He's a 300-pounder, and uh, Jay Humphrey at tackle 300, but it's number 69, Dan Neal, who is the bell cow. 39 straight starts. Dan Neal is definitely the top player in that line. They split the backs now for third down and four. The pass on the is good to the tight end Fitzgerald. It'll be a first down at the Irish 45-yard line. The big down guys, Ronaldo Wynn and Bert Berry will come from the outside and they come flying. Berry is a Texan from Humble. Wynn is out of Chicago. They are very good. The backers are also very good. Ricky Williams is the single back for Texas on first down inside the 45. Passes away to the sideline. Is good to Mike Adams. Mike Adams curling in front of the corner. Defensive secondary for Notre Dame that's going to be tested, Bob. This is the real question mark. Uh, Alan Rossum is the only returning starter. He intercepted a pass last year against Texas. Personal foul on the defense. 15 yards. First down. 15 yard penalty. But uh, a couple days ago, it was hot and humid. Round hands inside. There's some daylight for Williams, a 220-pound sophomore. Texas moving along, second down and five. Ricky Williams, uh, the single back, down on the Irish 14. Possession started on the 20. Brown keeps it. He's got a convoy to that side. Now he throws into a crowd. Great percentage. Sean Mitchell is number three, and Jared Coleman is number 29. That's the lineup now, and they hand it inside to Mitchell. He explodes to the five. First and goal. It, though it's first and goal, just inside the five. Ricky Williams is the single back, has the ball. Goes to the three. Second down and goal from the three. Brown wants to throw. Loops it into the corner. Double-barrel, 10-gauge blanks explode out of Smokey the Cannon, and the Longhorns have gone to a 7 to nothing lead. From the other side of the field, behind the defense, this is going to be a great throw, throwing it to the outside where only Adams can get at it. It's a great drive, 10 plays, big opening drive for Texas. And when you're playing Notre Dame on special teams, it is Chris Stockton kicking off for Texas. It is a very short kick, way up the field, and the penalty flag flies as the Irish get a good return out of Ken Barry. We're not going to kick it to him. We're just going to kick away from him. 
Push in the back. Juan Paulus at quarterback with Autry Denson and Jamie Spencer lined up behind it. And it goes to Denson. And Denson is stopped. So they're a bit unsettled here in the early going. Get by full start on the offense. Have your credit. He's been a, a victim in some ways. Unfair, Keith. Unfairly, I think, at times. No Absolutely. Question. It is first down. Mark Edwards is the single back now. And looking for a little room. Keeps on wiggling away. And this is a guy you like a lot. I know Bob. Names backs and receivers include Autry Denson. Now, Denson is a 190-pound sophomore out of Lauder Hill, Florida. And he can haul it. He can motor. Second down at about 13. Wallace looks around and throws. The pass is complete to Malcolm Johnson. Johnson is taken down at the 15-yard line. The offensive front for the Irish anchored by Rick Kaczynski, and we highlight Kaczynski because he's looking right into the face. Third and 11. And they go to the shotgun. Double wide, bottom of your picture. Wallace's pass is thrown through the hand of Arthur Denson. This may be a big, big call. Yep. Roughing the passer. Tyson King. For 50. Unblocked. See, King did not have his head up. I don't know. He didn't know the ball yeah, was gone. That's, yeah, that's a close call right there. By number 64, Casey Hampton goes in. He is built like a block of concrete. He weighs 317 pounds. He's 6'1". It's first down, Notre Dame after the penalty. And they hand it off inside with Brooks the fullback. Now here's the front seven defensively. We told you Aikens has just come off the field, but it's that, that uh, nose tackle where Aikens plays is the anchor of that defensive front. They ran right inside that time and picked up five yards. When you're getting first down and five up the middle, you're doing all right. They stay inside with it. And Benson... The defensive secondary for Texas may be the best set of set of defensive backs in the country. Westbrook is an All-American. Edwards and Denson in the backfield for the Irish now. That's Kuklevich, the tight end. Uh, the tight end shifting over to the right side. And Paulus back to throw. Pass time and goes to Edwards on the backfield. That will be another Notre Dame first down. We've got five people up front now for the Longhorns with Westbrook coming up on the line like he's going to blitz. And he is. And they go the other way with Dixon. He loves the man at the line of scrimmage. Keeps on pounding and will take it down for another Notre Dame first down. Randy Kinder is checked in now at tailback, giving Denson some relief. Kinder would have been the starter had he not been injured, but he's healthy now. And he pops in there with some authority, and once again, they've got... Call it second down and seven. Well, they give him three yards on that first carry. Paulus gives it away to Kinder. Big hole left side on his way. And he's hauled down. Double teamed Akers. I mean Akers. Kinder and Edwards in the backfield on first and goal for the Irish from the six-yard line. And it's Kinder down to about the two. Edwards, the deep man. He gets it. He gets down to about the one. Put it on the two. Paulus loops it into the end zone. Incomplete. Field goal try now by Jim Sanson. A 20-yard attempt out of the hold of Hunter Smith. It is up, and it is good. So Lou Holtz elects to... Go for the take the three. It's a good call, Keith. And, it's uh, a great drive. So now Sanson will kick it off. First one he knocked way back into the end zone. This one is way back as well. And Curtis Jackson will not return it. From the 20, James Brown. Back to throw again on first down. Gets it from the middle to Fitzgerald, the tight end. Move the chains out. Ricky Williams. Want to throw it again. Coming across inside. Uh, trying to set up a little screen action for Mike Adams. Six completions already in this ballgame. Second down and five. Ball is at the 44 of Texas. This is Williams. Ricky Williams is a load on the football team. 
From the 48, first down, Horn. Brown, little delay, gives the ball to Williams. Williams is grabbed by Kenan Tatum. He will lose a NFL Monday Night Football. We're going to find out who's for real on Monday night. Second down, call it 12, and James Brown goes to the sideline for the pass is too high. <laughs> well, look where it is. Well, you've been around here a while. Right? Uh, there's... Dead ball. All start yep. on the offense. It was the Still tackle down. on the right side. Offensively, don't want to make a big mistake. Brown gets it off down. At the 29-yard line, Ricky Williams checks in as the single back now. As the Horns come up with another big play and a first down at the Texas 29, that's thrown to the sideline. It is incomplete. It's second down and 10. The Irish show blitz. Here they come. Pick them up. The pass is away. Too high. And just do it. Rossum was on the coverage. Penalty flag on the field. Brown's got a first down, but it may come back. So against Texas, it's coming back. Might be a tight end play right here. Texas is three for three on third down conversions. Little play action. Go to the sidelines. It is incomplete, and Rossum was the only man to get him offside to get five yards closer for a field goal. Yeah, he's got it nice and high, too. And he's done what he's supposed to do. Oh, they knock it down about a foot away from the goal line. But Edwards is in the end zone as the single back. Watch the screen. They like to throw screens down here, Keith. Paulus keeps it. He likes to do from the spread is come out of here with a wide receiver screen. Mosley's in motion. Paulus throws it in his direction. He's got it. He was all by himself. Texas didn't even cover it. Texas leading by a score of 7-3 to three with 45 seconds to play in the first quarter. Wallace back. The ball away to Denson. Autry Denson is chased backwards down the field and has finally run out of bounds. Wallace gives to Denson. Again, running in the middle. Number 85. Time running out in the first period. This should be the last play. And they've got the first down. So after one quarter, and Austin, Texas, the home team, the Texas Longhorns, lead the visiting Fighting Irish of Notre Dame by a score of 7 to 3. Wallace looking to the right side may well have checked it. Fresh legs and tender, Horns stack it up. Second down and about 10 with Denson and Edwards in the backfield now. And Mosley goes in motion for the Irish and Paul is setting the throw, getting some heat. Gets it away, trying to get it off to the sideline on third down and nine. Paulus with a little time, but throws short of the intended receiver. He's been there 23 years, is that about right? That's right. My goodness. That's a ha bunch of happy musicians right there. <laughs> and good ones. Here comes Texas on a return now with Mike Allen running out of bounds at the 25-yard line. Well, as long as you can keep getting older, that's the whole thing. <laughs> that's the point. Isn't it? That's the whole thing. Here come the horns to the attack now with Sean Mitchell carrying it. All right. Willie Nelson. Wonderful. It's Derek Lewis, number 82. I was going to ask Willie for a razor blade, but I knew he wouldn't have one. <laughs> he doesn't mess with things like that. Put it on the 39-yard line and the pitch to Ricky Williams. And Williams turning the corner with a little power now. Second down. Brown gets it off. Ricky Williams catches it and shakes off a tackler and has a first down at the Irish. 36-yard line. Well, once again, the pass is involved in a key play. Inside, this time, William. Well, he just ran over it. Second down and one for the Longhorns at the Irish 35. There's a penalty flag. They've got the yardage for the first down, but the umpire... 
That's what it is. And a junior out of Fort Worth. He's the single back. Now there's nobody back there as they throw the oh, pass. Look at this. They're going to throw it back to the quarterback, and he's got it. And it's a first down. So it's Texas that comes up with the first quick play of the day. Might come back. It will. It's against Texas. Score is 7-3. to three. Texas leads. And it's second down and 15 as they hand the ball inside for Sean Mitchell. And Sean Mitchell. Third and 13. As Brown oh, yeah. runs out of the shotgun and has good protection. And hits his hand right on the numbers. Brown throwing. Got to be a penalty as they were all over the back. Corner Rossum is going with Michael Adams. Well, now they show blitz on first down. They pick it up, passes the way to the sideline for quick comfort, and out of bounds for about an eight yard pickup. Ricky Williams. No, it's Mitchell. John Mitchell. Oh, look at that move. All the way to the five. First and goal, Texas. On first and goal from the five now. Brown gives it to Williams. And Williams. My defensive backs are down a little bit. Second down and goal as Adams goes in motion. And they give the ball to Holmes. And Chris Holmes dives into the end zone. Touchdown. And he will... Up it out of the hole of Davis, and it's good. 8.30 to go in the first half of Texas, 14 to 3. 69, the guard there is Dan Neal, the All-American. You follow him, most of the time there'll be a hole there. Demet Mosley is the deep man for Notre Dame, 14 to 3 in the long time. 30 to play in the first half, and Mosley drifting five, six, seven yards deep in the end zone will not return it. Fredenson and Mark Edwards now in the backfield behind Ron Paulus. This is Denson looking for daylight. There was none. Second down and ten. Paulus back. Is away, has a man, and he put it where nobody could reach it. Keith, that throw right there by Paulus, he completed the pass, but it should have been up around his shoulders where he could have caught it and done something with it. As it was, he had to fall down to catch it. Pass it to the outside. Getting a lot of help from his fullback, Mark Edwards. I mean, Shinkender is in at tailback now. And he has it over the right side. And finally, after being hit first, second down and three, the ball is on the Texas 47. Paulus looks down the middle, throws a hummer, pass complete to Kreplevich, the tight end, changing the play. Crowd jumps in. Keeps it, hops it. That is a very good way to require a little helmet painting when he gets home. Second down and five. Well, he weighs 218 pounds, 6'2", so he's a pretty good-sized fellow. And that ball to Kinder. He comes full bore into the right side of the line. First down, Notre Dame has run on 12 of 13 up to this point. And they run again with Edwards. And Tyson King just misses it, but coming across is number 18, Cody Danaher. And Robert Farmer is in the backfield for the first time today. Spread formation for Notre Dame. Farmer's number 31. On the option, fresh leg, wide open. He's in there. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Well, Lou's going down his checklist, and he's seeing how you play these different formations. Point try, Sanson is a freshman out of Scottsdale, Arizona. And it's good. And so with 4.08 to play in the first half, it's 14 to 10, Texas. Tyson King fit blitzes. 
From pitch to the outside. Those are a good block. Fresh legs do help. That was Farmer's first carry. Long drive answers the touchdown of the home team. And the kick. A little bit of a win holds it up for Curtis Jackson. Jackson in the middle of the field and comes across the 30. Paulus is bright enough that he saw the blitz. He probably checked to it. And it's first down for the Horns from the 31. Throw back inside to Mitchell. They clock. Get it off? I don't think so. Dead Look ball, up. Ball, delay, delay on the offense. And Still that's second down. Second down and 15. Close again. Traffic in the middle. No place to go. 14 to 10. Texas leads. Brown back. In a hurry. He's got a major league problem right now, I'll tell you. Because he had... Uh, Mark Schultz now has to step from his end zone, gets his kick away. That's a good one. Oh, my goodness, that's a good one. Uh, great kick. They're kicking away. You know, Way the back down there. there at the 30. 2.37 to play in the first half with Edwards and Denson double wide on a couple of wide receivers up at the top of the screen. Now this is Mosley coming towards it. And the pitch goes to the tailback, Denson. And Denson is hit. Again, double wide the top and Paulus back to throw it looks left looks right finally throws out to the fullback coming out of the backfield third and five crowd trying to help blitz they run it and they break the blitz and they get the first down but you've got to get your hand wrap him up when you get your hands on him back goes Paulus on first down from the 49 for Klevich the tight end and he's knocked out of bounds. Edwards, the single back, trips at the top. Wallace looking to throw it. Comes it. And it is. They're going to give him the catch. He wants to know <laughs> what the snap well, count is. It's a check off. He says, which way are you going with it? <laughs> oh, going left. Okay. Now I'll go right. And we'll get a first down inside the five yard and go from the three. Wallace keeps it. Throws Edwards. Touchdown, Notre Dame. And the crowd got kind of quiet. Samson for the try. It's good. And so with 27 seconds to go in the first half, the Irish go to the lead for the first time today, 17 to 14. Edwards blocks him, slow blocks, and then releases. And then Kirkpatrick, 45, is caught in between, and a nice play on both ends. Low squib kick. You don't want one of those burners to get it back there. It's picked up well up the field at about the 27-yard line by Wayne. They've got three wide outs to the bottom of the picture. Williams there as the protector for the quarterback as they go to the shotgun. That's a pretty feeble snap. And made a mistake here. Dead ball. Infraction on the offense. Back Please back him up. Put one second right. back on the clock. First and 15. Sideline pattern. Oh, that's a good throw. Great throw. I mean, Bill Dawson cranking up. Casey gets a call. He's 16 the, seconds to play. In the the that pass is out of bounds. If you don't bring him any water or any soda or anything, you know, his receivers usually take care of the quarterback. That's pass low. And as they were coming down toward the end of the half, and they went into the locker room, and here's your Hail Mary. Whoa, close. Both it is ahead. incomplete. The half is over. And Darrell Royal, when he was coach here, walked into the Texas Longhorns at halftime and said, Men, there's a hell of a fight going out there in the Cotton Bowl. It'd be nice if some of you joined it. <laughs> and that's kind of where we are right now. We uh, score Notre Dame 17, Texas 14. 
at halftime in Austin. Texas will kick off. Chris Stockton will hit it with Alan Rossum. A deep man for the Irish. And they don't want him to get his hands on it where he can return it. And he's way back there in the end zone going the other way. But Notre Dame comes up with a 20-yard line. First down and Ron Paulus pitches the ball back to Audrey Denson who gets around the corner and on the very first play three wide outs bottom of the picture and here's Edwards the single back. Pumps it and lets it go. Throwing it for Nelson and it is incomplete. Still good coverage by Texas. Second down and ten. Denson gets away from one man behind the line of scrimmage. Aikens third and a long three. Paulus has a lot of time, but he can't hook up in Texas 14. Yeah, didn't get all of that one. Bouncing around, Adams picks it up. And he saved about 10 yards for their first possession. And it's Sean Mitchell and Ricky Williams in the backfield. And this is Mitchell. And the senior from Austin, just short of the 30-yard line. Williams is the up back, number 11. And Brown finally recovered it. Williams was past James, and it's third down and 14 now. The ball is back on their own 17-yard line. And Brown with some time. Can't get it away. He's looking around, and Melvin Dansby says, enough of this. They really don't have a deep man. They had Denson back there, but there's nobody back really to receive the punt, and uh, they let it go, and it's going to take a Texas roll, and it is going to be a prodigious number. First down. Keith, I don't understand why they didn't have a guy back. I'm sure they wanted somebody back there. I was trying to count, see if they only had 10 players on the field. Denson is hit behind the line of scrimmage. Looking around, now throws it into the crowd. And then he made that play, and they're out of the shotgun now with Paulus again getting pressure. This time gets rid of it, but Farmer can't handle it. Hunter Smith, a good snap. Got some pressure, but he got it away. And he got a good kick in the air. High hanger, and a fair catch is called by Mike Adams. Longhorns come up on first down from the 27 yard line. James Brown, a little quick to Curtis Jackson. And Jackson spinning will take it up for about second down, a yard and a half. Inside to Ricky Williams. Don't come. And it's Williams. That's a little bit late. He gets a flag. To Darrell, they're still just tough, tough, tough. They're very tough, and they they have. Williams, the remaining, back. Jackson on the boundary side, looks at him and throws behind him. This is Mitchell. He broke the first tackle, and third down, and five. That's Fitzgerald, the tight end. Brown back, gets a little heat, gets it away, and the pass is deflected, and it is incomplete. Mike Adams... And these sidewinders have really taken over the kicking game. That's the way to kick. There's no doubt about it. You know, a Coach Wilkinson, let's see what happens here. It's long enough. It's good. I mean, that thing counts from another 15 yards. He may be, he may be the best field goal kicker in the country right there. 47 yards, and we're all even at 17 with 8.09 to play in the third quarter. Up the crowd. That one hit could turn this this whole thing around. Denson is back. It's third and nine. Here they come. And they've got him. Come play some golf with me. Thank you, Keith. I always enjoy service. That's 
not a very good kick. We'll let you go on to your box and enjoy the rest of this game. Come back to see us soon. Thank you. Coach. It's Mitchell and Williams lined up in the Texas backfield now from the 28-yard line. James Brown on the run. And he's down at the 31. Running at 3.45 to go in the third quarter. This is Sean Mitchell. Sean Mitchell. Breaks it big, but he may come back. I do think you may very well have a hole. There it is. Where it is second down. And uh, 16. Little play action. Bert Berry's coming. Brown gets it away. He had a man. Curtis Jackson. Crunch time in the ball game. Bob Davey. On the sideline. That's Williams on a little delay. Cuts it up the middle. Scrimmage. The outside people won't come. Nobody comes. As a matter of fact, they all feel back. And this is a wonderful kick by the Texas punter, Mark Schultes, and Audrey Denson down trying to make a play. Notre Dame's kickers. Penalties against Notre Dame. Illegal use of the hand. From the 11 yard line now, the Irish going to work on first down. Wallace stands up, throws it across the way, trying to set a screen, and they don't get him. From the 23-yard line, first down. And there's the Notre Dame crowd game. Just won the game, 14 to three. Second down and five. This is Edwards, and he's got a first down at the 35-yard line. Dead ball, offside. They don't get the defense. call on it. Five yard penalty, still first down. That is a clavicle, uh, he broke his knee, he had a knee surgery, and then uh, had a shoulder, a uh, concussion. This is uh, Denson, just keeps on chucking along. At... Ball is changing it. Coming up on 15 seconds to go in the quarter. Hands it off. Has penetration. And the third quarter ends at a 17-17 tie, and we'll be back after this message on the word from our ABC station. Ball is at the 45-yard line. The quarterback, Paulus, keeps it. Follows the line surge. Chris has been pounding hard in the third quarter. They try to go right into the middle of the line. On second and eight from the 48. Handed off to Denson. Hit behind the line of scrimmage and they stop it. Just a little short. Notre Dame is four of nine in third down conversions. Here they come. Yes. Got it away. Kraklevich is out there and can't make the play. And... His fifth punt of the day. Ball came back to him on the ground. Not a very good kick. He shanked it. His Longhorn certainly got involved in the fight in the third quarter as they shut down Notre Dame. They got with it. And they take over the football at the 35-yard line. And on the carry, Ricky Williams second down and a short five. Brown back to throw it. Ball is tipped. And if it's not tipped, it's intercepted. Yep. Third down and five. Brown hit his tight end, Fitzgerald, and Fitzgerald picks up the first down. Notre Dame claiming the ball came out. I mean, you can find him a lot of times. This is Ricky Williams. A remarkable run by Williams the yardage that Williams had picked up and he had a lot 160 of those yards had come after contact so he is struck down to bring down and Sean Mitchell now powering ahead and Texas blowing Notre Dame off the ball right now they're not a deep team not this year this is Williams Couple of inches short of the first down, but no more than a foot and a half from the goal line. It's William. It's touchdown. Humphrey 
snap for the extra point. Good. Up front, it's Humphrey and Neal and Feebigger and Fitzgerald. And a great effort by Williams. 24-17, Texas. And the deep man for the Irish is Emmett Mosley, a senior from Aurora, Colorado. Very short kick, and it's Burrow. And recovered by Notre Dame. First down for the Irish now. They trail 24-17 at 10-49 to play in the ball game. Sun is out, it's hot. Paulus, pass, is caught. Good catch. You know you're due. You know you're down by seven. Now, gut check. Let's go down and get something. This is Denson running to the outside and then coming back into the traffic. Here they come. And it inside to Edwards, the big fullback. We'll move it inside the 40. Notre Dame is building up ahead of Steve. Yeah, and he's, but he has respect. You just be careful. Ball is back. Dumps it off underneath, and it is incomplete. Only two of eight in the second half. Single back is Autry Denson. Second and ten. Here they come again. And Denson almost ran right by him. Robert Farmer, the single back. Crowd trying to help. Paulus wanted to go up and ate him up. It's Wolf down. Yarder shanked out of bounds. Going to throw it. Well, this is, they're looking for a, a penalty here. That's what they're looking for. Throws it beyond the yeah. field of play. It was not catchable. It couldn't be a penalty. And Texas takes over at the 36. Sean Mitchell. And can't turn the corner. They need field position, too. Exactly. Ricky Williams. He's a slippery fellow. Well, they gave him six on the mark, making second down and four. Up man, Edwards. That's a first down. Where do they call it? The 22-yard line is where it's marked. And they pitch it back to Denson. Good block there. Another tackle missed. And he's finally out of bounds. And they're right back out there and, and under siege right now. Second down, a yard and a half. Up man, Edwards. That's a first and goal for the Irish at the four-yard line. First and goal inside the five. Pitch it to Denson. And that's a pretty good hit there. Randy Kinder, the deep back. They give it to Edwards up front. He's crawling around. He's got it over the goal line. That can't be a touchdown. Jamie Spencer has come back on the field with his leg wrapped. He's up there in front of Kinder. Paulus keeps it. He does not get in, I don't think. Nope, they won't give it to him. They're not going wide because Denson's not in there. Paulus gives it to Edwards and Whistle stops. Back winners. False start for the Irish. As the ball comes back outside the five, fourth and goal. Eight penalties for 76 yards on the Irish. Mosley in motion. Throw it to Mosley. Nope. Paulus pitches it out to Denson, running for the corner. Touchdown. Tyson King had a shot at him, but he couldn't do it. You give it to your speed guy. You Snap is good, the kick is up, and it is good. And so with 2.54 to play, 
We're tied at 24. And remember, there is an overtime rule. Each team will get possession of the ball from their own 25. The kickoff by Sensor. Goes beyond the field of play. Of course, he's trying to make a play, and you don't envision the ball being batted up in the, in the air, but the, but the receiver is not open. You need to know when he's open and when he's not. And yeah. this is Ricky Williams, and Williams is... Ricky Williams, 16 carries, 104 yards, and a touchdown for Texas. And he's still working. Close to the 30. And it's called Monday. It is a first down from the 30. Brown gets a little heat. Brown runs out of it. And James Brown is 2 of 7 for 16 yards and one interception in the second half. So he is not hot. Mitchell, Ricky Williams, single back, third down and four. James Brown throws it underneath, but it is incomplete. The pass intended for Mike Adams with 105. No pressure. Well, he didn't get all of it. He jerked it out of bounds. So both putters. But, but a lot of uncertainty, Keith. Their, their place-kicking uh, situation has gone back and forth. Yeah, but he can knock it. You never know. Here's Paulus putting it up and out of bounds. Incomplete. 52 seconds. Run it up the middle with Denson. Get some daylight. And finally dragged down by Chris Carter. But it's a first down. Chevrolet donating $1,000 to each school's general scholarship fund. Paulus back, sets up a screen, throws it underneath to his tight end in the middle. Paulus sets him. Second down and nine. Pumps it, lets it go. He's got a man. It's overthrown. A third and nine from the Texas 33. Crowd coming up. 24-24 time. Paulus pass is drilled. Caught by Malcolm Johnson. And that's good for a first down and 39-yard field goal try. You make these all the time in practice. He got it. And they'll get a penalty for celebrating there's no time remaining so it looks to me like they can celebrate all they want and uh, that's what the rule is time ran out as the ball sailed through the uprights and the party is on for the Irish as they come south and win a tough one from the Longhorns of Texas 27 to 24. Plenty of leg the room. Freshman. The freshman comes through. So your final score, Notre Dame 27, Texas 24.